Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode on the Hermitcraft Season 6 server. Hope you guys are all doing well. I'm doing fantastic. Today's episode 153, and I hope you guys really, really enjoyed that April Fool's prank. That was such a good video. Anyways, I've got an awesome episode planned for you guys, but before we get into that, let's do the question of the day. Would you rather not have enchantments or a beacon beam? I'm removing one. You have to pick one to stay, pick one to remove. Which do you choose and why? Let me know down in the comment section below. If you guys enjoy this series and you want to see more, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe and turn on those notifications for when the videos come out. Let's get into it. All right, guys. So to get started with today's episode, man, we've got a lot going on today. But uh, I do want to quickly apologize if you can hear the air conditioner in the background. It's finally starting to get hot here and it's like so humid in my apartment. So AC time, baby. Other than that, we are... Um, actually, 107 followers away from 37,000 people on Twitter. That's ridiculous. So if you guys aren't already following me on Twitter, make sure you do so. That would be very, very much appreciated. So what have I been doing since the last episode? I started off uh, the streams a couple days ago working on the base, trying to get rid of this bloody water. And I'll show you the updates for that in just a second. I'm cooking my sponge here. So what we have done is we have created a grid uh, that was four by four because it matched the base layout. And we have been removing the water systematically every grid. Now, uh, that's where these sponges come in. So I have been using my sponges to do so. And it's actually worked out, you know, pretty well, actually. I'll show you how we've been doing it. Um, so in the corner here. This is the first one since there's the glass there. Um, so we just place a, a sponge down, sponge down, sponge down. Sometimes there'll be like one little piece left in the corner or whatever. You just kind of place a block there to get rid of it. Once that's gone, grab that. And then I just remove two blocks from another pillar. Go up top, over to the next side, sponge down, sponge down. Trying to get rid of the water as efficiently as possible. And it's this this setup has been working super well. So all right, let's get rid of this. This one's already kind of pretty damaged badly. Um, but we were trying to decide the best way to handle getting rid of the water. And <laughs> as the Hermitcraft recap guy said, it did not go very well. It was quite the fail, actually. Now, I have never been good with sponges, and, you know, that's pretty apparent, but this grid was actually recommended to me some, from some people in the live stream because we've been, like I said, we've been streaming Hermitcraft trying to, you know, get things in the base done and so we can start working on some other projects and things like that. So uh, this is how I've been doing things. And as you can see, just from that little bit of work talking, we've already cleared out three more of these things, and that's about how fast it's really been going this entire time. Um... Yeah, so get rid of all that. Oh, it's like I missed a spot over here. Yeah, some of this has been like kind of messed up though. All right, so let's uh, let's talk about the game plan for today's episode. I well, let me get rid of this real fast. There we go. So once I have all of the water cleared out, we'll be able to see much more of the base. So right now this looks really really bad. Um, once all the water's gone, we're gonna start mocking up our storage system. Now, um, we'll probably just start it off with cobblestone to kind of get an idea of what we want to do. Um, and so I was trying to think, right, because like I remember saying that we were going to have a block here. So that puts four chests on top of each other. We're going to have a lot of storage. All right. So here's what I'm going to do, guys. I am going to go ahead and uh, remove all this. I think I'm actually going to time lapse the removal just for a little bit of fun. So enjoy the video, guys.
guys so i have finally removed all of the water from the base of our base base of our base this is the first time that i'll be able to fly into it as i had originally gamed planned so this is how i wanted to fly in and we'll just land in the middle now i think what i might do is put some slime blocks down here so i can just literally dive bomb into this sucker so right now i've got a torch grid set up and i just went and got a bunch of wood together we are going to set up a mock sword system so we kind of understand how things are going to work down here so let's go ahead and get started right so i know for a fact that uh in the corner here i want to have let's see i guess the main question is is do we want the storage system to be like this or do we want it to be like that where we have kind of one block outside of it and then the items on the inside because if we do it like this we can do the corners like that uh i'm actually not going to use spruce that's a bad example because i think whatever block we are going to use is going to be the same color so probably like quartz or something so four tall hmm i think what we might do is put like a wall here like that i like that a lot actually okay so that looks pretty good let me do it on the other side too um and then so the, the next thing that we need to do is we need to decide on a few things first things first this is the center row this is where uh we'll like probably have pathways so i think i want the pathways to be four wide so four wide there so then we should probably line it up with this guy go up here so that makes that there and that makes this here three four so that kind of tells us where the storage system is going to stop get rid of all that okay so put that there all right so now we want to connect um probably i think i'm gonna go do i want to do i don't know if i want to do slabs or not because we wouldn't be able to see that inside piece there uh, okay you know what we'll do let's get rid of this we'll um hmm oh you know what i guess it wouldn't really matter too much because we'll have that set of chests there. Yeah, here, let's make a few more chests real fast. Just to kind of get a better understanding of how this is going to look. All right. So we'll do it from this side. So it's going to be just like that. Four tall. Now, the question is, is do I like it recessed like that? I'm not really a fan of how it's recessed. So I think the first attempt at this build may want to be like that. Kind of have them lined up. And then if anything, we could put a central stair there and then, you know, have that going over or something. Okay. I think though, the only issue is, is that I don't think we have an option. I think we have to do that. So if we go here, then we put a stair here. So there would be stairs all the way across just like so. Okay. So the, one of the reasons why I'm building this with wood right now is because we can obviously come back later and uh, fix it. So wood is just an easier option to build with. Just like so. Okay. And then since we have space in the front, we can pretty much do what we want with that. Let me go up here a little bit okay so what if we put like a block there and then an arch there that kind of works out pretty well all right um so then we would probably want an arch right there and then let's make some slabs a little bit more and then the slabs would probably come across this way there we go, just like that. All right, liking how that's looking. And then what I'm thinking is, we'll have a pillar 
maybe coming up right there or something that's not final i'm not sure on that just yet so then another another staircase another set of slabs coming that way just to kind of give it its final look we are super super close to a final design this is what i imagined in my head is the design but i think i want to change it a little bit so where do i want to change it well first off i'm going to bring it out one block i think and i do have my reasoning for that for number one we need lighting uh and number two i think i want to have a gap between the wall and the back of this thing right so um if we bring it out a block like this come here then from three from the wall so one two three four like that come up a few blocks this is going to achieve that goal that i want that way we can have the chests right here and then we can have an access road between all or behind all of the chests that way if we ever have an issue i can get back there i can also hide the lighting back there so i like that a lot better okay so let's finish this up real fast just want to kind of get a little bit of the detail in there so we've got uh like the main arch and then we have this arch coming off this side it's going to meet over here so um i kind of just want to build the frame out a little bit and get a better idea of what it's going to look like sort of all the way around so here's where this would go up there we go and I think it's taking shape really, really well, guys. This is like pretty close to what I imagined in my head. All right. Um, so we need to go up another block. Go up here. Now, remember, I like if you guys have any suggestions on what I should build this with, feel free to let me know. The game plan right now is to build this out of quartz because there is no other block that fits the base as well as quartz does because it's black and red why it will look fine but you know we're gonna have to go like digging for quartz that's not a big deal but um i just don't think there's any other block that really fits it to be honest with you all right so here all right so that's how it's gonna look it's gonna come out a block there and then, so this will not be back here. Get rid of that. Then we'll have uh, a set of chests right here. There we go. So something like that. And then there'll be the access tunnel behind it. Now, what I'm thinking about doing is if you look over here, we have that gap above us. What I'm thinking about doing is taking these blocks out but it would be over here, which is right here. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Put that right there. Put that right there. And then switching to stairs. Just like that. Not only does that sort of block behind the stair or behind the chests. Like, let me grab a few here. And I can kind of show you what it's going to look like a little bit better. Okay. But I think that's going to give it a better look. False symmetry. Join the game. Apparently stress joined the game and left at the same time. I have been in the zone, guys. That is my biggest fault. <laughs> I don't know when people join the server. All right. So how does that look? Okay, you guys will you guys be the judge. Do you like the open look better? or Do you like the curved look better? Huh? What if? No, there really isn't a way, a way to avoid that. All right. Well, I think I have a final design in mind. What I might end up doing is actually building the whole thing out of wood and then going back and replacing all the blocks with quartz. It would just be like a big template. All right, guys, I went and collected a ton of quartz. Not really. I did get quite a bit, though. <laughs> um. So here's the game plan, right? I want to replace on the build just the we're going to do the front part of the build um i want to replace as much as i can with quartz to see what it's going to look like another thing that we changed was i used uh front facing stairs here to make it look more like a wall there i really really like how that looks 
So let's get to work and we're just going to go ahead and swap out uh, the important things first, like uh, stairs, slabs, because then we can craft the other blocks that we need to decide um, how things are going to look. So there we go. I think that's all the slabs we're going to need. So now let's go ahead and make some stairs. We'll probably end up using more slabs later on, but there we go. There is 40 stairs. Um, so I'm very, very excited to see what this thing is going to look like. Um, right now it's, it's already kind of looking really good. Um, I, I ain't gonna lie to you. I was a little nervous about using stairs in the build. Um, mainly or not stairs, but quartz in the build, because I am not a quartz builder. I feel like building with quartz is like a special talent, right? I'm pretty good at terraforming. I know how to handle my own in that kind of situation. The one thing that, like I said, I'm, I'm just, I feel like I'm out of my comfort zone in is using quartz. Quartz is a really like regal block and it takes, I feel like it takes practice to get good with quartz. So all right so we'll get rid of um get rid of these main blocks so let's go ahead and switch the stairs now uh, i'm glad that i decided to put the one block pathway back behind here i think it's gonna uh you know turn out pretty well that we decided to do that okay so get rid of these blocks so like i said we're trying to change everything over that we can see that way we have a good idea of what things are gonna look like so is that, man, that, that actually looks pretty good so far. All right. Uh, so now we need some regular quartz blocks. And then this is where I wanted to take my time because we have a few different options. Like we can use pillars on the edge there if we want. Now, remember there's going to be another quartz stair there. Let me get rid of this one and I'm going to use pillars here just to see what that looks like. Got to save quartz wherever we can. I, I I like it. I think it looks pretty good right there. It's not too bad, to be honest with you. I do notice one thing that's wrong, though. Um, Right here. Why does that look different? Hold on, let me kill the zombie. Zombie, you got to go, buddy. Did I do something different there? Because if you look, three three um maybe i didn't maybe it's all good maybe i'm just like losing my mind why does that not look right i think the spacing is off one one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight nine nailed it good at this game so this needs to come out of block because of that uh, block that we were compensating for I knew it looked weird I'm like dude you can't hide from me all right so one two three the pillar sits right there then the court stair sits right there then these two need to be changed actually just this needs to be changed okay let me go up there and grab my blocks real fast all right that's uh that is much much better I'm like, dude, that looks really weird. Okay. So I do like the pillar look. Let's see what it looks like right here too. I'm a little nervous to use pillars in like that situation though, because I don't want them to be showing, right? Um, what if we just do uh, some kind of stair there to hide that? Huh? That looks okay. What we could end up doing, what we end up might be doing anyways, is capping everything off with a quartz slab around the top. That gives it uh, continuity between the build. Now we just gotta figure out what the heck we're gonna do with that. I don't know if I like that or not. We'll see if I, if I leave that there. So put that there. Okay, and then again, using the pillars and the slabs all the way to the end. I do like the way that the, the slabs uh, kind of give it a topped off look. Okay, 
let's go back here. We should probably do some sort of design with this thing. So this will come over to here. Let's do three of them. Okay. Just like so. Probably gonna need a little bit more slabs. Let's grab some more of those. Go ahead and make some more blocks too. And I'm gonna grab the crafting table to bring with me. All right. Get rid of that. Um, so if we, how do you make the pillars? I had to remember. Make some more pillars. So we have an opportunity here with the pillar to make it look kind of classy. We could do um, some sorts of like, how do you make that, uh, this guy? We could put that in the middle like that. That's not bad looking. I'm not sure if that's just too many pillars. You know what I mean? Like that could be a little overkill. So make one of those, make a pillar. So get rid of that guy. So how do we like that? Now, I don't think we're gonna be able to finalize the full design tonight because we're almost out of time. We're pretty much over time already. There we go. So how does that look? Let me get rid of this. Doesn't look that bad, to be honest with you. I like it. I think it turned out pretty well. Kind of like exactly what I was looking for in my mind in terms of the build. Um, yeah, it looks really good, I think. So guys, I think I'm probably going to go ahead and end the episode here. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed. This is iJevin. Peace out, everybody.